my dear neat warriors i have got some really really amazing news for all of you and that is if you are really tired of the scams and everything that has been going on in the last few days especially in uh, the neat examination well let me tell you there is a big ray of hope and if you are worth it and if you can afford it then trust me you have one of the finest and the best options to study mbbs abroad in one of the top schools of medical sciences so let me tell you all the things related to it right from the admission to the scholarships to the you know fees if in case you do not get the scholarships or also you know what's the admission process like and what is the eligibility criteria and every single detail that you might find useful and probably you will forget everything else and you're like okay i want to get into uh, colleges like this so let's get started and let's get quickly to the point and make sure that you are liking this particular video and subscribing to the channel like this video because youtube understands you are more interested in more such videos so it will suggest you more such videos or else it will never be recommended and you might miss a college and subscribe because this is the most credible english channel for neat in the country thank you so much i have done that hello capto uh, says rushmita hello hello saikaran hello pck welcome aboard so first of all the harvard medical school is the number one yes rank one in the world and it was established look at this 1782 it's really really old college guys more than 200 years old okay it's number one and it has a very high reputation if you say i am a doctor from harvard even other doctors will respect you understand it is that level of college it's in boston okay uh, it's in boston in the united states of america okay it's in us harvard now uh, the next thing is if you talk about the eligibility criteria that is going to make you really happy if you are a state board student how many state board students are there 85% bare minimum if you are cbse or ic level uh, student then 70% how many of you are meeting this criteria how many of you are meeting this criteria give me a thumbs up and smash the like button right away right now smash the like button right away right now i can see the number of likes come on if you are uh, covering this that's it there is no age limit as such as a pre medical course a bachelor's degree in bi biology chemistry or basically something required neat test scores are required and you also need your english also need your english uh, proficiency uh, you know scores i'll tell about what is this msat and also this english proficiency course everybody has taken biology 100% everybody has taken biology for neat okay chemistry and physics also done so guys you are all sorted all those people who have put up the like button very good what about this and this i'll come to it neat exam done but don't worry even if your neat score is 400 300 as long as you have cleared that cut off of 160 odd marks you are sorted even if you have low score of 250 marks still you can get admission now what is this mcat exam basically just like neat exam is for india united states of america and canada they generally require mcat scores which is a very different kind of an exam and i test you a uh, test your biological skills chemical and physical foundations of biological systems psychological social and biological foundations of behavior and critical analysis and reasoning skills these four things it will test don't worry cheating does not happen there no scams happen there it's a very transparent exam and around 85000 students you know give this exam to get admitted in usa and canada so it's a large number okay considering it's a international level exam okay and uh, you know it's a multiple choice examination that's a good thing easily you can download the mock tests etc available online and you can crack this exam for indians it is very uh, straight forward if you have cracked neat right for indians it is very easy even this analysis reasoning skills i'm pretty sure with few mock tests you will be able to crack it so don't worry about that part now i'll tell you about toefl and other exams also so basically these are english level language uh, checking exams so you can see this is mcat exam website you can 
uh, read the articles you can check for you know all the mock tests how to apply you can register for the mcat exam now the english proficiency test is either the toefl either the toefl or basically your ielts ielts exam okay so either this or this which checks how proficient how good you are in reading writing talking listening all the four skills are checked but it is not very difficult but at the same time it is not easy it is easily crackable within 10 15 days of coaching also easily you can crack this examination toefl or ielts okay this checks your english proficiency now ielts and toefl scores are valid for many years and it is used by many colleges not just for harvard, Medi harvard medical school but even for other colleges abroad you might have to give ielts or toefl examination got it so it's not like it is only for harvard any other uh, uh, you know uh, school also abroad you will probably need this test so it's good to give that now the best part about harvard is you know the entire life the whole system the teachers the equipment the facilities that you get like from the campus life it is very very dynamic you get people from all backgrounds all kinds of cultures and the kind of life you have is very very dynamic and very vibrant it's just like in this okay and also you get a lot of support from the fa uh, faculties there from the admin staff there from your seniors from your fellows everyone it's like a community which is built to thrive together and you know achieve more success to become better doctors so there is counselors there you have mental health resources organizations every good thing that you would need in a college is there also it has collaborative environment meaning students work together in different projects sometimes you are sent for different you know workshops for different field jobs and even different you know activities which help you grow not just as an individual but as an organization as a team because at the end of the day when you become a doctor you are going to be a team you are going to have a nurse you're going to have admin you're going to have uh, anesthetist you will have some other doctor so you are going to work as a team and you need to learn all these things and the best part is you know the composition of the students is also really good uh, like you can see uh, there are almost 50 50 uh, girls and boys you can see that there are 200 elective courses so optional subjects are there so that you can decide which field you want to work on more you can also see that the faculty over there are really enthusiastic they are not boring they are too good guys literally too good means too good they are very very innovative they take interest not just in the students but also in the subject just like you know probably we are in fact probably you multiply by 100 also because you know they are doing the same thing again and again and they love uh, their subject yes also you will see that students are assigned one out of the five academic societies when you get admitted and it serves as the advising system and this group based advising structure includes one senior faculty also the students from different class years and also program coordinator so you can see a lot of things happen in the campus as well as in the program now sir please tell me more about how do i get into this okay so in the english proficiency uh, tests which is your IELTS or TOEFL the IELTS score should be anywhere between 6.5 to 7 which can be achieved okay TOEFL score 90 to 100 let me tell you when I gave my TOEFL exam long long time back that's probably in 2010 or around that time when I planned to go abroad but I changed my decision for some other reason that time very easily without even giving multiple mock tests one mock test I had given that time I mean, if you compare it, okay, with uh, with the same calibration, you I got around 105 or 110 score, okay. So very easily you can crack this examination, right? So I feel that with little bit of preparation, you can definitely get these basic scores in the English proficiency test. Either give this or give this. Some colleges require either this or that, depending on the geography and other things, okay. That's what it is. Now the selection factors. On what basis are you getting selected in this particular program? One is your academic record, like how you have been in school, your 
board marks, everything in general academics. Also, you have to write an essay on why you want to get into college. It's not like neat. Oh, I got this and that's it. No, you have to write an essay. It's not that difficult with little bit of help. You can do it. You can ask your seniors or, you know, there are a lot of people who help writing the statement of purpose. Why you want to get into that school? Why you want to do medical science? Why is it that you are so motivated to go abroad? So those things. MCAT scores, which I just told you. Letter of evaluation. You also need extracurricular activities if you have been participating in some singing, dance, sports, music, arts, anything that helps in the application process. They just don't want rote learners. Also, you have some kind of experience working here and there that helps. If you have any work experience, which is nothing, which is okay. Okay. Health related experiences, maybe community service. Maybe you, uh, you know, help in some organization or some cause that also adds a lot of value so you can see this is a very different kind of admission process it's not like one test score decides everything if some student has very good academic records but is very bad in extracurriculars has not done any community service is not a part of anything no activities at all then usually that application gets rejected when you have a kind of a balance here and there that's when they like such students that's why you see the alumni the doctors who pass out from them are not very boring, very, um, you know, very uh, linear kind of, uh, uh, you know, doctors. They are very, very vivid. They are very, very vibrant, dynamic personalities. Uh, the next important thing is the application process. It has to be submitted online. I will just show you the website. Also, you need to fill up the application and add every particular detail about you. Also, all the relevant documents, papers must be submitted for verification. They will verify it. Okay. Also, those who get accepted, and are sent final uh, uh, candidates who have been accepted or are awaiting uh, admissions are sent financial aid documents so once you get admitted then the financial aid this is the most important thing you'll get financial aid documents where you need to write another essay why you need that financial aid why you need that scholarship why is it that you are so desperate to get into that college and you know with that financial aid only why is it that you cannot just study over here so all those things they will look forward into okay so you need to submit that financial aid document as well now the documents that you will re uh, require after that is also your official transcripts transcripts as in your score cards okay official scorecards okay scanned copy of your passport because obviously you're going abroad your resume till now it could be very basic that's okay but send that letter of recommendation it can come from your school teacher college teacher probably some health person or probably that organization where you are volunteering or doing social work for that letter of recommendation is very useful english test course statement of purpose and i like i said letter of recommendation reference letters you will need two of them okay you will need at least two of them okay those are the documents now if you talk about the fees in us dollars forget it in indian rupees it's around 30 to 40 lakhs just the tuition fees this is per year by the way per year 30 to 40 lakhs but uh, if you add some other expenses like staying because obviously boston is a very expensive place to stay plus the food uh, whatever the shelter whatever you know things you will need apart from uh, studying is another added expense so it's around 18 lakhs so give or take you know around 50 lakhs to 60 lakhs per year is what you will need okay but this is without scholarship but with scholarship it comes down to just 11 lakhs to 20 lakhs around that price is what it comes down to you can reduce it even further with financial aid now i'll tell you where to get that financial aid from in fact i have put it up over here this is the harvard medical school main website like you can see and there are all these scholarships which you can take externally outside scholarships there are tips institutional scholarships meaning where harvard only will uh, provide you that financial aid okay you have external external uh, scholarships also where did it go yeah external scholarships also from outside scholarships right all these different organizations for international students you can click on this and you will get all these financial aids okay all these financial aids it's not a simple process it takes time don't think it's just like filling the neat application form i just click one document done no it takes time because you are going to get you know worth 50 lakh rupees 
तो सिक्सटी लैक रुपीज वर्स ऑफ एड रफली गिव ऑल टेक पर इयर इट्स इट्स नॉट अ जोक सो फॉर फोर फाइव इयर्स इट गोज टू टू करोर्स टू एंड हाफ करोर्स सो दैट मच हेल्प इफ समबडी इज गिविंग ऑब्वियसली दे आस्क यू टू डू सम प्रोसेस इट्स नॉट लाइक हाँ ओके यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी मेडिकल साइंस हो यू आर वेरी एंथुजेस्टिक यू आर टेक टू करोर रुपीज नो दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट लोन्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल सो लेट मी डेल यू इवन लोन इज अ गुड ऑप्शन डोंट थिंक सर सो मच मनी हाउ डू आई पे आई एम नॉट दैट रिच लेट मी डेल यू लोन्स आर अवेलेबल एंड डॉक्टर्स हु अर्न आफ्टर दिस मेडिकल स्कूल देर टिपिकल सैलरीज विल गो एनी वेयर बिटवीन टू टू फोर करोर्स पर इयर let me repeat their typical salaries from this school salaries will go from 2 to 4 crores per year so within 1 2 years you will finish off that loan how many of you are excited after this nishwat that's what i'm trying to tell you compare the salary now <laughs> you are getting 2 to 4 crores worth of salary after this school understand that okay cool so that's what it is so it's not just about the tuition fees lot of people get put off over here so or i can complete my entire medical school here only correct true but also look at the salary that you can get and the reputation that obviously the college has is much much higher than any of these schools over here you are going to pay 40 50 lakhs in a private school over here understood right yeah private college versus world's number one mbbs college the applications are going to start right now so i want you to start applying for this a particular school as it is right now if you think you can go there if you think you have a balanced score if you think you can write toefl you can write uh, ielts you can write mcat exam you have your neat scores you have qualified and if you think you have a balanced uh, extra curricular activity then please 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 apply for this college it's better to study here even if you take loan and go there this way it is completely worth it okay so this was a very very important information for all of you how did you love it please let me know in the comments and any other college or do you want more such things then please like and comment please like and comment if you want more such information of some you know very different very unique courses not just uh, you know like this one but maybe some other country maybe some other course maybe some other alternative which you are looking forward to and which can be like your escape route you know uh, or probably like a good backup option in case need does not happen or need um, you don't want to attempt it again or whatever your reason is right so do let me know in the comments thank you so much and subscribe to the vedantu neat english bye bye take care this was captain shears signing off hasta la vista